hope you guys are doing well. I've completed two journals. I thought I would share with you. I'd do a quick flip through of each of these. Um, this is a kit. The main kit is um, from a designer on Etsy called Louise Hensel, I believe. I'll put the name of her shop in the description box and um, you can go and check it out. She's got gorgeous uh, kits <coughs> and I've I've been working with uh, three. I purchased three kits from her this um, last month that I've been working with. I believe this one is called Vintage Birds, but I could be wrong. But I've also mixed um, elements from the other kits. They all kind of uh, complemented each other, I think. So let's start with this one. I have named... Um, Nature's Rhythm, and then this one I've named Seasons of Change. So we'll start with the Nature's Rhythm, and um, <clears throat> again, it's an envelope that I've altered, and this has got two signatures, over 144 pages, um, and let's just start <clears throat> with the cover. Um, I've stitched some of the digitals to it. I've reinforced it with some muslin back there and then I've come back over it with beeswax and it gives it a really nice vintage look to it. I added some eyelets. Um, the closure is sari silk and then the front cover is got burlap, corrugated um, cardboard, one of the digital images, some lace, um, and so all of that's been layered together, and I love how it's come out. She's very different um, to any other uh, designers that, uh, you know, and I don't design for her. <laughs> this was just something I, I spotted them and thought I really, really want to give this a try. Because it's a very different look to what I've been working with in the past, but I love it. Um, she's very, very talented. So on the front, <clears throat> I've collaged and I've, yes, Mod Podged, can you believe it, um, some of the images and I've just layered that up. Then I've made a little fabric pocket that's been, I've got fabric and the lace layered onto that, some snippet, and then some of the bits and pieces throughout come from um, Tracy's shop, Artie Mays. And I believe, if I see anybody else, I will point those out. But I believe it's Tracy and Artie Mays. Oh no, Nikki. Nikki Adigan has got, I've got an element in here from her shop. So, <clears throat> I tell you what, I'll list all the shops with everything that's that's in this. And then you can just check them out. Um, so here, this is some craft paper. And I love how that's come out. Very rustic. Um, did some stamping onto muslin, and I love I love this saying. Um, it's about this, the different seasons. And this was um, part of a different kit from Louise. So I cannot rename you know remember all the names. So just just check out you know in the description box. Here's some handmade paper. Isn't that beautiful? Book page. So this, um, oh yeah, I did these yesterday following um, Maramie's uh, small art tutorial on making the faux postage stamps. That was so much fun to do. So um, I am going to do a video coming up if you're interested. <clears throat> I'm going to do a little video on packing for crafting and creating while you are traveling because I'm going to go away this um, the end of this month over to Wales for a week so I'm going to do that online so you guys can see um, you know what I'm going to take because obviously you're limited on space and um, I, th I think it might be useful I hope it will be so stay tuned for that here, um, this is a new uh, die cut I got. It's a Sizzix or Tim Holtz. Um, but if you're interested in that, you can check my 
Amazon affiliate link in the description box below and I've got those uh, listed in there. You can check that out. Aren't they beautiful? More snippets um, and then these are, are just more um, of the images that I've just left so you can do some journaling in. Those pages are just beautiful. Aren't those birds gorgeous? Um, this was a lot of fun. I recently picked up some fibers and they're kind of um, funky colors, but I thought for autumn they've got everything that, that speaks autumn to me. And this is an, um, an altered mailer. So you've got one, two, three pockets, and then inside here I've just created this journal card. Isn't that pretty? And then I stitched that, added some antique, uh, or vintage trim, not antique. <laughs> um, so that has been tucked in there. Um, you'll see that both the journals are similar. They're just probably laid out slightly different, but I tried to create, you know, to add the same elements. This is Eco Paper from uh, Artie Mays. Isn't that beautiful? Love that. Um, so check her out if you're looking for some eco-dyed papers because I have not had time to try that process myself. Oh, one day, one day I hope to do all the things that I think I can do. This is another um, book page that I've got from my little stash of books. Now this paper is antique papery, but I thought it complemented this nicely and then this is Taylor made um, one of her doily coffee dyed um, doily images it's bits of um, fabric uh, trim and then this is an image from Artie Mays so yeah everything I've put in here has related to nature or um, garden you know just to, to keep in you know in keeping with nature, um, some glass beads have add, added to the center of the signatures, and then you notice on this one I, I've left all of the strings. If you don't like that look, they could easily be snipped off. But um, yeah, I suppose this is probably um, as close to grunge as as I'm able to get, guys. Um, but um, but there you have it. I finally crossed over to the dark side. Love that. Uh, that book is just beautiful. Some more fabric trim. And then here I just added some um, of this paper that I've run through the embosser and then I've um, distressed it just for some extra texture because I love things that you can touch and feel in the journal. Uh, these images are Artie Mays, and again, this is, uh, I believe those are Tim Holtz dies. Uh, paper clip that's been aged. <coughs> Another little journal card. I just, I think her designs are so beautiful. And then we're on to the second signature now, and this one is, I've got this layered up uh, belly band, and then this is one of the images that came in the kit, so I've cut that out and just added to it. I love how that page has come out. This was a, um, <clears throat> a Tracy Fox. She's got these little booklets in her shop, and I've just filled it with paper, so this journal it has a massive amount of writing space in it, but I've just tucked that in there. You could just remove that. Um, if you don't want it in the journal. Um, just various uh, digis from my my own stash here. And then this little book page, I created pockets within that. And um, I love those images. That's that... Um, oh, I can't think of his name now. It's a uh, Brian's Britain or something like that book I had. And of course... <laughs> Did I write the name down now? <laughs> so I'm sorry about that. I'm sure in a past video I've referred to it because I was sharing it one time, you know, anything I thought people would be interested in, I tried to share. So 
I love these pages. I love these journals. I'm really happy with how they've come out. Beautiful. They um, they just speak autumn to me. I love that trim. And then this is the sec. Look at that image. This is the um, <clears throat> center of the signature. That page is absolutely gorgeous. So yeah, this this can definitely be filled up with a lot of um, writing and um, these were inspired by um, Martin Martin Mar yeah, Martin <laughs> Martina. Sorry, I'll get it out in a minute. Um, she did a tutorial on these where she took images that were printed onto vellum. And um, then she covered them over a book page so that you still got, you know, the words showing through. And I love that idea. So thank you, Marta, Marta, Marta for that um, idea. Beautiful. Um, check out her channel because she's got a tutorial on that. But I loved how those came out. It's so fun when I get the chance to actually try some of the you know, things I see. I watch so many ladies on YouTube, but I just don't get time to try a lot uh, with with trying to to work. This is the Nikki um, addition to this journal. Um, I love these. This is in her shop. I've added some little metal brads to it, but aren't those absolutely gorgeous? I mean, this is just autumn. To me, this this journal, and I am excited that that the cooler temperatures here are here. Although <laughs> they're saying that we're going to get heat at the end of this week, and I'm not happy about that. <laughs> I don't think it's going to be too bad, though. Um, and in all fairness, um, with the flea market coming up, I'm grateful that that they're predicting good weather because I'd hate for that to get canceled. This is another of the little faux. Um, postage stamps and then I just tuck that up there so um, and then this is another of the double pocket out of a book page and look at those images just gorgeous a um, bit more embossing here just just to add some interest to the pages and then here this is a little Artie Mays ticket just tucked in there and this is an Artie Mays tag more little snippets and on the back here I didn't put anything in it <clears throat> because as you can see it's pretty junky already but you've got two big pockets to add uh, more bits and pieces to so that is nature's rhythm Let's see. And then now let's go through um, seasons of change. Same thing, you know, same construction of the, uh, the journal cover. I do enjoy making these. They take a lot of time, but I think the result is, is worth it. They are just so pretty. And uh, again, similar uh, layout, you know, just slightly different images couple more journal cards there. Layering and I've mod podged over that so it's all sealed. I love how this page has come out. This was a bit of um, this was a freebie from Artie Mays. She's so generous with uh, with freebies and this was one of her little washi strips and um, so I just added that and then I've done lots of little layering here on that snippet. And then this, I just created like a little booklet there and just various tags. I won't pull everything out because um, it is very similar to the last one. Um, here, did some stitching around that journal card. And then that's another image from uh, Louise's shop. I th think that's from the green um, journal kit. I believe that's what she's called it. With an age tag there. Oh, I love that. Oh, look at those. 
Strawberries are beautiful, aren't they? Won't believe I pulled those out two times to make sure that that glue had gone uh, dry, but it still was catching. Um, and I love those pockets; they are so dainty with all the intricate uh, die cutting. A bit more of the uh, handmade paper, and then this is another junk mailer, and I've. Uh, created that card to go inside. Love that. So you've got two more pockets on the back here. Well, actually, no, this one's just got the one, uh, whereas the other one had two little slots there. I do love putting the uh, junk mailers in the uh, journals. I don't know, there's something very rewarding about uh, upcycling and recycling. Another little journal card. <coughs> Another little pocket I've made with lots of scraps just stitched together. This is a freebie from Artie Mays. Isn't that beautiful? Got a very watercolored look to it. Look at those birds. So, so pretty. Okay, and then the, here we go with the belly band on this one. And look at that with all the, the owls and birds. I love that. And another little um, little journal tucked inside there. That's those are you can find those in Tracy's shop. As I recall, I just had printed them at two per um, sheet because otherwise they're they're bigger than that. Some more little glass beads. I'm going to put this in a different pocket uh, when I get to it. I don't know why it was tucked in there. Um, this is some more of the papers from Louise's kit. Isn't that just stunning? Um, another one of those little pockets. Some more of uh, Artie Mae's eco papers. Look at those. She did such a great job with those. Autumn and Harvest. Isn't that beautiful? Love these old book pages. Put that in there. Another snippet there, and this has all been embossed and uh, distressed. Another little belly band here with a journal card. And then here we've got another pocket that you can add a couple of um, tags to it if you want to. Isn't that image beautiful from that page? Look at the bee. Love it. This was a nature book. It's an old one, and it's all about the walks that this woman takes um, because she loves nature, and so... I've started cutting those out and putting them in, and I love that because it's it's all about what she explores on the journey. And oh, isn't that beautiful? It's another one of those little faux postage stamps. Are these? This is from uh, the Vintage Bird Kit as well. Isn't that pretty? Handmade paper. And here we got another little tuck spot. It's been die cut, stitched, and then another handmade snippet. Love that page as well. Some more beads on this signature center of signature. And then here you've got a uh, little double pocket made from a envelope, or I mean a book page. And a bit more embossing there. That's the second walk in July. So I love those. And then look at that side. Isn't that beautiful? Um, another of the book pages that's covered with the uh, vellum. 
And then this one flips out. And I've just got a large pocket here. And then these are... Um, pockets here. So you've got a lot of writing space there. And then this, you've got the other two pockets, and that's that book page. And there's that uh, with the different seasons. And on the back, the same thing here, I've got two large pockets uh, for you to add things. Okay guys, there they are. They are in my shop if you're interested in these. Um, and um, I hope you guys have a great weekend. And I will be back very soon with another um, Create With Me. So you guys take care. Bye.